Well, of all the rotten stories that have ever been turned into this office, yours takes the prize. No guest list, and we don't even know what the bride wore. She wore this orchid. Listen, Miss Hunter, I have a great responsibility. I'm a public servant. Parents are calling the Chronicle frantically with tears in their voice, begging for news of their daughters. I have a daughter myself who's about to be married. Maybe she'll drop dead, too. But she won't drop dead from an orchid. I didn't say that. Well, then what are you talking about? Every one of the brides that died and disappeared were wearing one of these orchids. How do you know? Well, I checked. It's my job. Look at these pictures. All right, perhaps it's a coincidence. It still doesn't spell anything. Then where did the Wentworth girl get this orchid? The bridegroom didn't give it to her. Perhaps huh? a dozen people gave it to her. Her mammy, her pappy. No, they the didn't guy she went out with. Besides, this orchid has a peculiar odor. That's unusual. Well, That's me. Clue, why don't you follow it up? Is that an assignment? It's a notice that you're through if you don't bring something in. Okay, Mr. Keenan. Taxi lady? No, it's a suitcase. Yes. Right this way. Where to, miss? To the home of Professor Lorenz. Lorenz, I'm sorry, I can't take you there. I, well, I, I'm out of gas. You mean you won't take me? Usually the yes, out of gas I, thing I, comes sorry, later I, in the relationship. Is this the only taxi in town? Yes, ma'am, it is. Look, I've simply got to get to the Lorenz place. I'll make it work. Listen, dope, you I'm take sorry, her with you. Uh, that truck's going up there. You might get a ride with him, that is, if you don't mind riding with a coffin. Are you kidding? I love coffins. Point me at it. Would you give me a lift to the Lorenz place? What do you want to go there for? To see the professor. Does he expect you? No, but then I... Then we can't take you. Jeez, welcome to Snottydale. She's determined to get on that truck. Oh, I love those skirts. I bring you the biggest story of the year and a chance to get this newspaper a real scoop, and you call it fantastic. All right, I'll put Doyle on it to track it down. I'm afraid you won't get very far. Professor Lorenz is a clever man. Clever enough to withstand any investigation and destroy any evidence. Why not track the fellow? How? Well, he steals dead brides, doesn't he? But, Father, how can I save no, it? No, daughter, your hands are too weak. You'll get fingerprints all over it. Zor's thirst for power is too strong. He's spreading south with his henchmen. I, I see myself in there. But he would never dare to enter our territory. I wonder if it's worth the risk of counting on that. Or the risk of acting. But, Father, <laughs> you taught me that science is always a risk. Ah, but a man of science takes a calculated risk. Mm. <laughs> I thought that was pretty fun. That was cool. <laughs> oh. He's still looking for the ends of the earth here. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. I gotta get to the ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. Of the earth. Ooh, she's in love. So the ends of the earth are this way. Thank you. Ugh. Mila. Now sing something from Painter Wagon. You're really the daughter of a Cronus. Cronus Quartet? You will know what to do. Okay. Next on Current Affair, women behind bars. Do 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 do. Hmm. Okay. Let's see now. There's a super ball, and half a peanut, and a length of kite string, and a carpenter saw. What would MacGyver do? Is this right? Hmm. Mm hmm. Wrong, cold, very cold. Freezing. Frigid. Freezing. Alaska. Oh, you're a cute one, aren't you? <laughs> you're getting warmer. Mm, warm as toast. She made, uh... Very warm. She's making flash powder from her own fills. Oh, neat. What? <laughs> uh-huh. Dibs. You see, I use two blades. The first blade lifts the head away from the body before the head and can snap back. And then the, uh, okay, below yeah. the skin level. Hmm. We get it. 
You know, the reason this scene is so good is because we care about the characters. We do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do? We really do. Hey, it's the life of the party. He's got a lampshade on his head. It'll be the death of the party soon. How would a lawsuit fit in with your music career, Tom? How would the piano genius of jazz feel about that kind of publicity? Oh, like there's never been a sex scandal in jazz before. Darling, you look as if you were ready to kill me. Bingo! Now you get this straight. I'm marrying Meg. And you get this straight, Tom Stewart. No one will ever have you but me. Scared straight. <laughs> Tom, what's wrong? Well, I pushed this one. I mean, uh, uh nothing. That's good. You're running away from something. You read me like a cheap novel. Well, Tom? Well, the truth is I'm a crappy jazz musician, oh. all right? Something I... I can't believe exists myself. If it does exist, you can't solve anything by running. Well, how about speed walking? Then, on the other hand, if it doesn't exist, there's nothing to run from. Did you read that in a fortune cookie? Seems refreshed. Oh. Help me, Tom! Help me! I thought I'd change for the dream sequence. Help me! Wait, go! Hmm? What do you know? Hmm? Now I'm in the seven-year itch. Bye, I... Con Dios. <laughs> Bye. Oh, man, I got a headache this big, and it's got Bird Eye Gordon written all over it. Oh, I gotta get back to bed. Wait a minute. I I'm in bed. <laughs> She's so transparent. No, go away. You're dead. Leave me alone. I'll never. I'll always. Mm. Oh, terrific. I killed the Lander sisters. Can't decide which one of you scares me more. And the dog's playing a cruel joke on her. Mm -hmm. oh, I guess what I'm saying is I, I don't want to go in there. I'm surprised at you. You're being as silly as Tom. Don't ever say that. All right, I'll go alone. Young lady. Young lady. Young hello, lady. Le Mrs. Ah. Lady thing. What's I Mrs. Butterworth? The perfume you're wearing. It's no use. I know you're in here somewhere. I can hear you, too. Don't you think it's ridiculous to hide? Just a second in the bathroom. There's something I want to say to you. Grab something out of the fridge. I'll be right down. If you won't, then I'll go up and find you. Well, better unpack another body bag. Yep. Mm. Um, is she wearing a life jacket under that sweater? No, she's Mrs. Michelin Man. Oh. Listen to me, please. I don't usually give people advice, but Tom is a dear friend, and I want to ask you to leave him alone. Are you listening to me? You might at least have the politeness to answer. Why, oh, that's a nasty laugh you have. Well, you see, I'm dead, and... What tricks are you up to now? Wait. Listen to me. An aging Kim Novak recreates this scene from Vertigo. This place sounds real nice. I love now, what I think you've done with it. Tom half to death. It's not hard That's to the point of being a ghost. I know Meg doesn't concern you, but you wouldn't want to make an innocent person suffer, would you? Well, sure, that's the most fun. I wish you'd speak more clearly. What do you want? I'm dead. My larynx is rotten. You're trying to make me sorry for you, I suppose. But I can't help thinking how foolish you are playing this absurd game. I can't help thinking how foolish she is climbing up that ladder. Sam Dylan, let me talk to you, please. Hey, I can't see my house from up here. Tell those two people all the unhappiness you need to. It's time you stopped. I mean, it's fun, but... You don't belong here, you know. 
Why don't you leave Tom and Meg alone and go back? What are you saying? She's saying, watch that first step. I can't hear you. On the 50-meter board. Yeah, the dog's downstairs checking the want ads right now. Yeah. What a fiend you are. I hate these one-woman shows. There exists a man, one who's so marvelous, whose courage and whose strength have allowed him to overcome any danger that threatens. And do you think you'll be able to conquer those who reign on the mountain of death? Go, go, go. Yes. If he were to lead us, your people would succeed in annihilating you. You'll only destroy yourself. And me too. Samara, my queen, I beseech you. I explore you. Only hope we can. Hmm? So don't take it away. I command you to stop. Send for this man. He lives in Charon. Send for him before it's too late. Okay, what's his number? Your people are tired. You dare to make threats. Uh-oh. Get out of for you, it'll be too late. He's a chest of drawers. Hey. Is that my puddle? Fine, jerk face. What was that? Nothing. Oh. Oh, 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 Are you Hercules? I could yeah. be. Who are you? What do you want? I'm to lead you to the man She's a smurf. All right, up with you. I think I'm sitting on the saddle horn. As a boy, you weren't very convincing. I'm Agar, daughter of Claudius. What made your father send a girl to meet me, and a child at that? I've no brothers, and my father's trust on me. Oh, oh, stop Why talking so fast. Me? For the Have... cause of liberty and justice, I'm ready to do anything. Even to fight? That, too, if it's necessary. Would you fight Let's me? Let's go. I'll take you into Samara by a route that only I know. By the way, do you ever bathe? Ugh. Come. Hey, this is nice. Uh, okay. This is wild, I swear. <laughs> hey, how long do I have to hide back here? Oops. I saw you leaving the city at daybreak, Agar. I'm greatly honored that my queen should take the trouble to watch over me. If I do so, it's for your own good, ma'am. The moon's on a cold. And you are young. So young. You should be more prudent. Wow, smells like Gold's Gym in here. Which rhymes with... What was that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Mm. Yeah, sounds kind of like Eraserhead. Man-made chickens, but they're new. Oh, I want to go to Snow Days? Just wondering. If it... oh, no, it's not like he was your dad or anything. Oops. Oh, awkward. I couldn't do anything to save him. I'll never forgive myself for it. You think it's easy to find skin bronzer in here? We were being spied on by Queen Samara. I ran after you to warn you, but we were too. I, I think you got a deer tick there. I only got time to get the last words. No, Dad's a kebab. He ordered me to lead you to the rendezvous where he'd intended to take you. You must join the others so that they'll know you're still alive and won't abandon us. You know better than that. I could never abandon you, Aka. Thank you, Hercules. No, thank your you. your shoulders rest the future of the people of Samuel. I know. I have great admiration for you. I will show you a way out of the palace that will lead us into open country beyond the city walls. Hmm. We must be very careful not to be seen. As soon as night falls, we can come back to the city. Huh? He looks like a loaf of split-top bread, doesn't he? Yeah. Now that I'm really sure of it, I'm able to tell you. You're greasy. For many years, my ancestors were sorcerers to the monsters of the mountain. But I've gone even further. I'm their ally. Jeez, and I made love to you? you? Allied with them? Yes. Ooh. They are powerful, Hercules. But despite their power, without me, they're helpless. What help could you give to them? Except to deliver the big... health plan, the usual. Gave them Billis. Yikes, I can just imagine what you've given me. Her sacrifice will revive Selena, their queen. Where is Billis? In the mountain of death. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to find out. What are you saying? You thought you had me under your spell, but your magic filter didn't work on me. 
I knew what I was doing all the time. And now I must liberate Derek's and Agar. Yes. Oh, she got one of those, huh? I hate that. Ah, crap. I sang like a bird. There's a new girl in town. She's looking good. <laughs> Anything special today? You. The White House surprise. Hmm. What's your soup du jour of the day? You're out of Salisbury steak. Material, 10 yards of dotted Swiss. Hmm. Mm, sounds interesting. I'll order later. Well, I'm going to cash out. Blanche will be by to take care of you. Well, I could read that a thousand times. Look, we got it halfway to you. I want half the dough now. Well, here, Dan Fogelberg tickets. Got to move my condom. Surprised I have any left. We're stepping out tonight, sugar. I'm sorry, I promised Michael I'd, uh... I'll pick you up about eight, my dear. It's not the radar, it's the size of the amplitude, if you know what I mean. Ryan. That's okay, I, I don't care. And never darken my carpets again! Ooh. Remember me? I'm your boyfriend, Mickey Moran. Oh, that's yeah, right, I'm terrible with anyway. names. I don't like the way this deal is turning out. You like his money, don't you? Well, sure. What do you like about him? He's the contact we need. Just as anxious as you to get this job over with so we can all be paid off. Uh, uh, he's on fire? Your jealousy is going to ruin everything. Now look, baby, when this job is over, you figure on combing lover boy out of your hair with a fine tooth comb. I haven't combed my hair in 13 years. You know that. What do you want? A poodle. I just left Blackie. Well, he's all right, isn't he? Sure he's all right, but what are you going to do about him? Oh, Benson, see that he gets some spending money. Sure. You forget that. What are you going to do about springing him? Hmm? Well, I suppose I could call up my friend, the DA, and ask him to release him. I need him on another job. She looks like one of Donald Duck's nephews. Listen, Margie. We'll spring your boyfriend when we're ready and not before. Well, it better be soon. Is that a threat? Maybe. Well, don't try anything foolish. You might get hurt. Go see Michael. He's got all the dough. Come on. I got to go shave above and below my mustache. <laughs> She's kind of pillowy, isn't she? Turn around, face the wall. Both of you. I'll hike my pants up even further. <coughs> okay, let's sing somewhere out there. Why shoot me? Well, you're starting to leave little accidents around the Michael house. Michael who double-crossed you. It'd be Michael. a crime to separate you two. Boy, that'd be really rotten if you had a gun. Oh, oh thanks. Right in the first wound. Ow! Oh, what now? We're never going to get out of here. Goodbye. What do you want? Get back in the other room so we Wait, can... I thought that woman was that woman. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Hey, why don't you ask us to turn around and face the wall? Hmm? Please? <laughs> uh, how, how, how have you been? <laughs> it's Blackie you're worrying about. That's been all taken care of. Yeah. Sure, I gave Mickey the money to spring him. Did he tell you? No, he didn't. When did this happen? Tomorrow? Oh, he just left here a little while ago. Said he was going straight to the lawyer. Oh, that. I can explain that. You didn't let him get very far. When you're through with a boyfriend, you're really through. He didn't panic because logic makes him think you're insane. <gasps> Ooh, good one. I'd like you, Claire. I've forgiven your life. Not tonight, anyway. <laughs> now the facts are in front of you. Time you stood by me. I'll stand by you, Tom. Not just because I'm your wife, but... Because I'm Tammy Wynette. Because I love you. Oh. And you're my meal ticket. Ah, oh, not this again. According to him, they have radiological electrode type things in their beaks. Mm -hmm. They plant these in a the person's neck, after which he is controlled by the benefactor. Mm -hmm. And like bees, once they have stung, so to speak, they die. And the people? They don't die. No. No. Nope. No. Now only their minds. Mm. Honey, why can't you just let me once minds take over the world? Only, possible. only the waste is gone. The hate, bitterness, dreams, all the foolish nonsense. The emotion? No, that's in the toilet. Yes, the emotion. Why are you holding me? Why? Because we like you. I love you. You know that. Why do you love me? 
Ooh, we're we're planning an antenna in her septum right now. Ooh. I don't know why you should. It's a waste. What? Hmm? It's an emotion. Oh, what a bird. Tom, you... You can't rub the tarnish from men's hmm? souls without... without losing a little bit of the silver, too. Don't start with me, Martha. You laughed your ass off, George. He was my friend. Despite all our fights and disagreements, he was my best friend. Is that all you can think of as losing a friend? Didn't his words mean anything to you? Nope. If you weren't so blind, you'd realize that Paul was your friend today as he's never been before. Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. Are you talking to me? Oh, you fool. Anybody who didn't care about you, who didn't believe there was still something in you worth trying to save would have killed you on the spot. Mm -hmm. Killed me? Yes. Just as he'll find a way to kill your god. There, I said it and I'm happy. Sandwich? He had a gun. Hmm. I saw it in his coat. A gun? That's right, Tom. You just had an undeserved stay of execution. Say. Gosh, I should get him something. Mm-hmm. So you believe with him that I'm a traitor? You've turned against me all the way. I've done nothing. Since high school. Everything is up to you. You're the one who has to see for himself. Go to the meetings, please. Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm just a fool. I'm like Paul. Hey, no argument I here. I don't believe in that you're going to find yourself. I love you, darling, but, but I have pride. <laughs> I want to love a good man, a fine man I married. I won't love a monster. I won't. That's what Ivana said. What about Fred McMurray? Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Oh, Tom, stop it! Tom Stoppard? What are you going to do? I should take a walk. Larry, you'll be safe. After everything I've said, you're still going through with it? Mm -hmm. I must. My beliefs haven't changed. I still have to have the courage of my convictions. Tom, I proved to you that your friend is as weak as you are. He's hiding in a cave, pleading with a human to do his rotten work. He's dead afraid of strength, and that means Paul Nelson. He can't even wait a week to control Paul. That's how frightened he is. I'm sorry, Claire. I have to go out and meet him. I'll pack a lunch. Uh-oh. Look, I don't know whether you can hear me or not, but if you can, you listen good. I hate your living guts for what you've done to my husband and my world. I know you for the coward you are, and I'm going to kill you. Do you hear that? I'm going to kill you. I'm not in right now, but if you'd like to leave. My brain's still untouched. And his keeping me alive has given me a power he didn't count on. The power of Matthew Starr. Power that you can feel. Across this room and through that door. To grandmother's house we go. Can't you? Together we're both more than things. We're a power as hideous as our deformities. Speak for yourself. Together we'll wreak our revenge. Well, you already wreak. <laughs> I shall create power, and you will enforce it. That's nice, honey. Look, I'm going to turn in. Maybe she could get work in a Peter Gabriel video. Hello, Mr. Thing. Hello. No! <laughs> if I had sides, they'd be splitting right now. I'm sorry, it was just really funny. Get your juice up there. Ooh, she's getting cradle cap. <laughs> What's locked behind that door? I don't know. What's locked behind All that right. door? <laughs> no normal mind can imagine. Something even more terrible than you. Oh, and our bicycle. Oh, my deformed friend. Like all quantities. Hmm? Horror has its ultimate. And I'm that. Thing. There is a horror beyond yours. And it's in there. It's Pauly Shaw. <gasps> locked behind that door. Beside which Carol Merrill is standing. I have a power. This liquid that he's pumped into me. Does it have NutraSweet? My brain burns with it. Paul Newman's saccharoni sauce. That thing inside an iron touch. Hmm. Want me to prove it? You can prove nothing. You're powerless. I'll show you how powerless I am. Alaka 
can't say I'm huzzah. Oh, well. Mm. You. Behind that door. Marilyn Chambers? Master locks. Why, you're a freak, a super freak, you're super freaky. Let me know if you hear me. Inka dinka doo. Hmm. Whoever. Whatever you are. Please, I'm a whoever. I command you. How? You understand me. I'm only a head. That can't say no. And you're whatever you are. Well, I'm more than a head, I'll tell you that right now. Together we're strong. More powerful than any of them. We are part of the Rhythm Nation. <laughs> we'll have to go start dinner and spaghetti and... Bad McNugget. Ugh. Can I have that back? I kind of need it. It's my neck. Oh. He's got his lounging jammies on. Help! I'm in another dimension. Help! Help! Look at that. The mask is just tied in the back. Ah, it's nothing we haven't seen before, Mike. Yeah. Got a soggy butt. <laughs> hey, pal, what about me, your friend, the head? Remember? Oh, you jerk. I told you to let me die. Men just never listen. <laughs> oh, I get it. It was a comedy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Always leave them laughing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, they mean the brain that wouldn't die. The end.